welcome to the channel. So there's LLC, this is B, and I'm gonna be doing a reading for just right now, which is mid, uh, I almost said April. Hmm, Aries and Aquarius have been very prevalent in a lot of the readings, but um, anyway, for mid-October, we're at October 17th, um, and so yeah, I'm just gonna do a reading for, for right now for you guys. Your energy was so heavy in a lot of other readings that I did um, over the last few days. So I'm inter interested to see what this is about. Um, I didn't do any readings yesterday because I needed to cleanse my energy and just rest after that icky message I got the other day. But I'm feeling much better right now and ready to get into it. So I'm going to start off with your channeled messages. We got um, so some of you might be meditating, which is cool. Then I got Olordia, Olordia, I don't know what that's about. Cyprus, which is like an island, I think. Cyprus. Hangit, which I'm not sure. <laughs> Hangit. And then I got, that might be a name. Then Domino. Domino. The only song that came through in channel messages was a song called Sooner or Later by NERD. So you might want to take a listen to that song. But let's get into your reading. I feel like what I'm going to do for you guys is start off with, um, oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, I know. Here it is. Her Everyday Oracle. It's called Her Everyday Oracle, but this is just good for anyone. Um, really nice Oracle deck. So let's just start with this. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius mid-October. Um, retrograde is significant, well, significant for you guys apparently, but it's over tomorrow. There's still going to be like a shadow period after it's over, but it's over tomorrow. And also, um, Jupiter is going direct tomorrow, I think. I read that somewhere. So let's see, what does Aquarius need to know for their, uh, ooh, well. First, we have pay attention to others and their actions. Sometimes it's best to move in silence. And I just heard silencio as I said that. Let's see. Yeah, bottom of the deck, we have um, pause, wait, just be. So something that might be like under wraps. Now I'm hearing our lips are sealed. Then we have donate some time daily to connect with spirit, God, and your ancestors. So it's time to get close to... To spirit time to get close to God and your ancestors it says so maybe you need to check in with your spirit team your ancestors you got a bunch of oracles it's time to challenge yourself and do the very thing you're afraid to do okay then we have you are ready for the next level of success I like to see that do that thing that inspires you and makes you feel like you're living life so that could be what leads you to your success something that you might be a little bit hesitant to start Something good is coming your way. Okay. We got three more. When things don't go as planned, there's something better for you. Allow yourself to be present in this moment so that you recognize opportunities as they're presented to you. Okay, so you might be a little bit distracted. You're getting a lot of cards that are saying kind of go within. You're ready for something new. Something good is coming to you but there's like a need for you to maybe focus. And how do you get focused? You probably need to do a little bit of grounding and, and meditation. Then we have, there are things in your life that you can't ignore anymore. Mm -hmm. And then we have, you inspire and touch so many. Don't be so hard on yourself. I like that. I can be hard on myself too sometimes. Okay. So that was a lot of oracle messages. <laughs> Let me just move these over so I have room for the tarot cards that I'm about to use. But that's good energy overall. I feel like that's good for you. All right, so now let's get into the tarot.
yeah, there was this weird, um, just really strange message I got. And I understand why I received it. I'm glad I received it, but it was just um, an energy that I'm not really, I don't really like. And uh, I just, a fact of life is that there are people who choose to do things that they just shouldn't be doing. So if somebody thinks it's their place to uh, really go, really cross the line in a number of ways. I'll let, the only question I would have for whoever's involved in that is just like, why would you think that's your place? But that's where I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to be pulled into that energy. Okay. All right, so let's see from the tarot what Aquarius needs to know from mid-October. Ooh, we got the Six of Swords. We got the Eight of Swords. I like that. Because at first that says to me like moving away from the Eight of Swords energy, which is good. Hopefully none of you are going toward the Eight of Swords energy, which is why if you are, you may need to just do this pause, wait, meditation, relaxation to keep yourself out of that energy. Then we have the Seven of Swords. No, it came out kind of reversed at first, so I think I'm going to leave it reversed. Seven of Swords reversed, which is good. There may be some truth coming out. King of Swords, about maybe an air sign. This could be you, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Let's see what else comes out here. The Tower. Hmm. Oh. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Flew out of the deck. So, hmm with the Four of Cups, okay. Let's keep going. Four of Swords. Nine of Wands, Three of Wands. What I'm hearing is nobody wins when the family feuds. Overall energy, the High Priest is at the bottom of the deck. All right, so beginning with the Six of Swords, ending with the Three of Wands. Only major arcana that I see here is the Tower, which takes over the entire reading say for the high priestess so there's some kind of tower and uh, maybe you already knew it was coming aquarius the high priestess is the overall energy at the bottom of the deck so this could be yeah you or someone around you is like trying to relax about an eight of swords energy being you know, being caught in your mind, thinking really, really heavily about a situation with the Seven of Swords reversed, it could be about some kind of truth being exposed um, about a King of Swords, or this could be a King of Swords in this energy. Um, yeah, I don't want to say something, I guess that's the same thing, something coming to light, but that happening would be a tower for this King of Swords. Eight of Pentacles reversed. It would turn some kind of situation upside down. Something that somebody was building. It would turn upside down. And leave them feeling like maybe, even though this is the Four of Cups, like boredom and missing opportunities, I feel like there's a sense of regret here as well with this Four of Cups. And then moving on to the Four of Swords... It's going to cause somebody to have to take some time, is what it feels like. Have to take some time to themselves, time to just kind of sit back, reflect, meditation also with the Four of Swords. Time to just, yeah, that's what I'm feeling most of all. And I just heard heal in my mind. That's what I just heard. Nine of Wands energy mm, to the Three of Wands. 
So yeah, something that's caused you to have your guard up or caused this person, whoever this person is that's, that's been afraid of something coming out or just worried about something coming out. I don't want to say afraid, but it's something that's very stressful for them. In the Three of Wands, it's like having to look toward what's next, new opportunities. And other things, like maybe other things that were already in the works but hadn't been developed is what I'm feeling that will need to be worked on with this Three of Wands energy. So now let's clarify. Hope y'all are having a good October. Um, full moon coming up on the 20th. I was um, out a little bit earlier and it was so beautiful. Like I looked up in the sky and the moon was just so big and bright. It almost looked like a full moon tonight. But whatever this is, with the high priestess being overall energy, it's like something that somebody's already known about. Four of Pentacles just came out. I haven't even tried to clarify anything yet. So somebody holding back. A person that's greedy. Hmm, what's this about? A delay of some sort regarding justice. This could be involving a Libra. Let's see. What is the Six of Swords about? Why is the Six of Swords here? Let's get clarity on that. Hmm, something from the past. Moving away from the past. That's a good thing. Then we have the Five of Wands. I'll leave this here. Five of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Mm -hmm. Leaving conflict behind, leaving the conflict of the past behind or learning a lesson. Like when you run into a certain situation to just walk away from this kind of energy, this Five of Wands dramatic energy. So that's positive, Six of Swords. I like it. That's usually a good card to see anyway. So... keep shuffling. What about this Eight of Swords? What's the source of this Eight of Swords? Fear of change, fear of uh, some kind of transition, transformation from a situation. Yeah, so it's not so much the, the truth of the situation, it's just the change that that truth will bring. Hmm. Can I get one more, please, on this Eight of Swords with the death? justice so someone's afraid of getting what they deserve <laughs> I mean that's natural right if you know if you've done something that maybe wasn't the best or just something that was a bad decision even if you didn't intend to there's always something on the other side right there's a consequence unless you've been able to maneuver around it what's here at the bottom nine of cups some kind of wish fulfillment and what is the seven of swords reversed somebody going within spending some time in solitude this is Virgo energy sometimes Gemini I believe just kind of doing some research looking into something maybe that revealed something to you what about this hermit let's get one more on the hermit you got two more the chariot and judgment hmm so maybe it's sped up judgment in some kind of way or it's going to speed up judgment in some kind of way or this um hermit energy was the catalyst to something king of swords who is this king of swords in this four of swords so this could be somebody who's taking a step back just uh keeping to themselves taking a break Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I'm feeling Aquarius, though. This is your reading. This could be you, Aquarius. What about the King of Swords with the Four of Swords? 
the Nine of Cups wish fulfillment. So maybe you're trying to figure out Aquarius, like what's best for you. Yeah, because we closed out the reading here with the Three of Wands, I'm trying to see what's next. Like, I feel like this is about somebody who has options, but you're just not sure about what that option should be with the Three of Wands. <clears throat> that will lead to your wish fulfillment. Like you're not sure exactly what that is. Empress is at the bottom of the deck though. So maybe there's someone on your mind or it could have to do with the Libra. Hmm. What's this tower? Somebody else I just got. Somebody could have, you may have just found out that you got someone pregnant and you're trying to just process that. You're trying to process it and what that means for your future. The tower is clarified by the Ace of Cups. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like everything I pull, I'm like, hmm, very interesting Aquarius. <laughs> And at the bottom of the deck, temperance, Sagittarius energy, having to balance being protected, perhaps, um, staying calm. So this could be a good tower. I feel like this could be a very good tower. Maybe you'll just need to take a moment when you get this news or if you haven't, or if you've already gotten this news, maybe you are just taking a moment. And when I say get, get this news, it's because the Seven of Swords is reversed. It's like something's being revealed to you, but not necessarily. It's, it's like perhaps something that's been hidden for a little while. Not like some huge new revelation, but something that you just weren't aware of before. That's somehow you're being like the blinders are coming off. Let's check in on this Eight of Pentacles reversed. Clarity on this Eight of Pentacles reversed, please. King of Swords again. Hmm. So maybe there's some... <laughs> maybe something about this new beginning, this new passionate beginning. That's it, It's good to you, like it's a tower, but at the same time, it's going to cause something to turn upside down regarding pentacles, regarding work, money. Maybe you're worried about how much money you'll have to spend if this is a child or if this is in a relationship. This could even be like you met someone you want to date and you're thinking like, mm, I don't really like to spend money on dates. It could be something like that. Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, so you're thinking about it. You're moving slowly on whatever this is. Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here? The devil. Okay, so the devil and the Four of Cups. I'm hearing bound. Bound. Okay, so maybe you met somebody you like. You met somebody new and for some reason you're you're not able to reach out to them or they're already attached to somebody if or there's something you want to go toward but there's something that makes you feel perhaps it would be something that'll tie you down like something that'll restrict you i feel like that's why you might be needing to i feel like you're being instructed to take a step back and just meditate on the situation yeah, Ten of Wands and Temperance because it's it's like too heavy for you right now. And you don't want to be like pulled into the devil energy with the Four of Cups, just, find, you know, consistently feeling down in the dumps about whatever this is and not really planning a way out of it or seeing it clearly. So yeah, there's a need to get balanced. Mm -hmm. Patience with the Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Page of Cups reversed. Hmm. So this could be bad news or some kind of offer that you just really don't like. Because that fell on top of the Eight of Pentacles reversed with the King of Swords. 
Oh, okay. So this is a work situation. There could be something coming towards you. Like they may make you an offer that's just not right, or it's just not, you may need to read the fine print. Like I said, retrograde is over on the 18th, but there's still like a, a shadow period for like really two weeks to a month after retrograde is over. So if there's any kind of a deal or offer, especially if it's verbal, ask questions, ask for details, things of that nature. Yeah, because there's going to be some kind of a choice. Let's see about this Four of Swords. Two of Cups. Something about a partnership here. The Lovers. Gemini energy. Again, choice. Partnering. Huh. There's this energy of like... So close yet so far that I'm feeling. But I'm curious about this Nine of Wands. What is the Nine of Wands doing here? The Lovers came out. Yeah, with the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So there is an energy of greed here with the Four of Cups because I just kind of picked up that it's like, maybe there's somebody here who wants the best of both worlds, but they don't wanna choose. Like they wanna have their cake and eat it too in some situation. You could be dealing with this person. This could be an Aquarius that you know, like a fellow Aquarius. And the tower just came out on the two of cups and the lovers. Yeah, so it's like you're, you might be worried or somebody might be worried if something about this comes out, they'll lose everything. Then we have the star reverse and the six of swords reverse that flew out of the deck and fell on the floor. So somebody feels like they're going to be stuck and like their name might be ruined or like they'll, they'll, they'll lose all hope in a situation. Oh, that's grim. That turned grim. So that's fear. That's an energy of fear because I was clarifying the nine of wands. So if somebody has their guard up and the eight of swords after the six of swords, it's like they're they're trying to move to Colorado's, Rodgers, but this eight of swords is peeking in about whatever the situation is. But it's, it's like somebody knows that they only have so long for a situation to remain breezy before something happens. Let's clarify this. Um, the Eight of Pentacles again. Let's clarify the Three of Wands and then we'll get some Oracles. The Empress is clarifying Three of Wands. So somebody might be worried about an Empress, somebody that they're with. Maybe a woman who's a little bit older in age, uh, who has a, her life together, moving on to other things when this information comes out or whatever this is. Um, this is, it could also be who this is about. This Aquarius, you could be a feminine watching. Aquarius and Libra. The wheel at the bottom of the deck, yeah. Like somebody's worried about the opportunities that are going to come next or what will be next. It's the unknown. But what do we get in the oracles? When things don't go as planned, there's something better for you. Allow yourself to be present in this moment so that you recognize opportunities as they are presented to you. So it's not the end of the world, whatever this is, but it feels like the end of the world, or it seems like it. Can I please have one more card on the Three of Wands and the Empress? Plotting. Five of Swords. Somebody could be afraid that they're gonna be like found out in some way that's not very pleasant. Yeah, there's truth again. Clarity, the Ace of Swords. Yeah, it's almost this feeling of like, I'm hearing Selena, the singer, Quintanilla, Selena. But it was just the beginning of a song. I'm not even sure which song this is. She's like, all alone, nothing to do. But I don't know the rest of the song. I can't, 
That's all I'm getting. Yeah, so somebody's worried about their behavior, like whatever's leading up to this moment, they're worried about their behavior and where it'll leave them. Like, hmm. All right, let's get some oracles, but first let me ask for advice. First, let me see. Hey, is there any more detail, please, Spirit Team, about what this is for my Aquarius gang? What is this situation? What is it surrounding for them? Sounds like work to me, some kind of work situation. Oh, <laughs> really? This could be somebody worried about moving too slow to make an offer, maybe to a Queen of Cups energy, or somebody moving too slow to show their emotions building up towards something that's just not, you know, maybe it's just not going to come to fruition. Yeah. Yeah, but even if you were to go towards whatever this energy is with the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, it's like, you could also be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with heavy Aquarius in your chart. But it's like something's taken too long. And it, it's almost like something you just slept on. You didn't even really want. Like, look at the expression on this Knight of Pentacles face. It's almost begrudging, like, mm, I guess, I guess. Stale is the overall energy I'm feeling from that. Like, something has gone stale. It's over. And here's the Emperor at the background, Aries energy again. We started off was saying April, that could be Aries or Taurus, but with the Emperor here and feeling Aries. Could be loss of control over a situation, the fear of loss of control over a situation and or a person, like somebody could just be moving on from you and it's, I don't think it's a surprise. I just think, <laughs> you know, the day is finally coming. But let's see, what's the advice for Aquarius? in this situation. What's the advice for the Aquarius gang in this situation? All placements. Advice. Ace of Swords reversed. Um, the feeling I'm getting from this is lay low. And that kind of is in line with this. Pause, wait, just be. You need to kind of embody the hermit energy is what I'm feeling. If this is resonating with you, embody the hermit energy and just take some time to clear your mind. Perhaps journal. Yeah, you need to get out of this uh, Four of Cups energy. If, the, if this is you, somebody needs to get out of the Four of Cups energy and maybe see a different perspective, a different side of a situation. Nine of Wands again, yeah. Because your guard is up, so there's a need to wait. Ten of Cups. So yeah, if there's a decision that you need to make about that Three of Wands energy, what's next? The uncertain, the unknown, uh, things that could be coming in for you that you may have sown in the past, like seeds you've sown in the past that may start to come up now. It's just an overall energy of you needing to relax. Um, do some meditation and some inner reflection. Mm -hmm. Ten of Cups is here, though, at the bottom of the deck. So there's something about maybe an offer that could be too good to be true. Again, just look things over if you do receive some kind of an offer, whoever that portion is for. Look it over, think about it, use your discernment. So you're going to need to trust your gut in this situation. And for some reason, I'm being drawn towards this Romance Angels deck. So let's see what this is about. At 29 minutes. So what does the Romance Angel deck have for the Aquarius gang? Well, that was fast. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. See, yeah, you may have just met somebody. Um, so what that says to me is take it step by step. Step by step. <laughs> Maybe this is somebody you met at the gym um, or in some kind of group exercise class. 
but just take it slow, step by step, you know, don't rush into anything. Cool, you know, cool it, be chill, flirt, yeah, and extend your lighthearted energy to others. So don't like ask the person out or treat them, <laughs> I just gotta <laughs> treat them like a pedestrian, like no. Um, be good, be kind and all that, but just don't, like I like to say, don't go picking out china patterns or something for the wedding, just get to know them. Anything else from the romance angels? It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Love. So maybe you're having trouble opening your heart and that's why, especially if you've been somebody who has been closed off for a long time, then maybe just take it easy, but don't, you may not have expected to meet anybody that you actually like. And if you're the kind of person, because I feel like I'm talking to somebody at least who has been in a loveless situation and then you met somebody who's like awakened you inside. Um, <laughs> wake me up inside. Yeah, and it's, you're just shocked and you're now you're between a rock and a hard place. Like, well, that's what I would like, but but this is what I have. And so now you're conflicted. You're gonna need to meditate about that and pray about it and see what's best for you with the Three of Wands energy, what, what to do next. That could be love related, that could be for anything, for a job, you know, you might just, there's something new coming your way. And it's good, it's good, but there's a need for you not to rush, and a need for you not to go, you know, like, telling the world about this. You need to keep it low at first, keep it to yourself. Just uh, think it over and process it before you explore things and, and sh explore sharing it with other people is what I feel. Sometimes it's best to move in silence. Okay, and we're gonna close with the Rebel deck. What does Aquarius need to know from the Rebel deck right now? You got a lot from the Rebel deck. Get over yourself, pull your shit together, help people get back, do good shit for humanity. Very much Aquarius energy, liking to be humanitarian, making the world a better place. Put the phone down. Too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person. So yeah, flirt. Put yourself out there, but again, don't you know, just jump into a serious commitment. I feel like be social if you if you have a good group of friends, go out, you know, be around good people and good settings, but don't close yourself off. So hermit energy is good for reflection, but you don't want to get stuck in the hermit energy because then you'll be like a recluse, which I can tell you, and that's easy to fall into. <laughs> then we have, you got a feeling you just can't shake that little voice inside you, listen to that shit. So trust your gut as always. Like no matter what anyone else tells you, even myself, you gotta trust your gut and use your discernment. Train yourself to listen to your own discernment, especially about crossroad situations like this. Cause I feel you're gonna be at a crossroads very soon. Ooh, yeah, this is, this could be about work for a lot of you. Shit is going down with your job. Reevaluate, change your perspective or fucking quit. So you may have a choice about work. I, um, there could be an offer coming to you about a uh, job opportunity. Again, review it carefully. Just make sure that you're being compensated fairly. Um, maybe have someone, paralegal or lawyer, look it over. If you know somebody who works in the legal field, who can take a look at it, or just somebody who works with contracts a lot to look at it. Because we did see the devil card come out earlier over the four of cups. So... Um, just make sure that whatever this is, is something that will be beneficial to you as well. Without the selfish energy. Because you may just be dealing with somebody who is a bit selfish. Because this is the first card that came out to clarify the overall reading. But that's what I have for you, Aquarius. And overall, at the top of the um, Rebel deck, we have Be Grateful here. So keep that in mind. And at the bottom, Love.
Get some, give some, it'll cheer your ass up. Yeah, so you don't want to stay in that Four of Cups energy. So do what you got to do to get out of it. But your advice here from the tarot and from, you know, this whole reading is basically you need to take a little bit of time to reflect, meditate, and relax. Calm that brilliant mind of yours, Aquarius, okay? Until next time, bye. <laughs>